All right, welcome back to the second edition of Pro Tools Tips for Songwriters. If you're working on arranging, recording a demo, or using uh, your computer as a songwriting tool, I like to use the computer as my scratch pad for uh, working out song ideas. So I do a lot of things where I'm manipulating the phrasing of things or maybe the speed of phrases. and it's not obvious sometimes in Pro Tools exactly how to do some of these things. So here we go. What I've done is I put together uh, two loops. And you'll see that nothing lines up. The tempo of the project is currently 140. This hip hop beat from uh, Total Control Audio is um, about 90. I don't think it's exactly 90. And then this vocal riff was recorded at about 120 beats per minute. Now the first thing is if you get a beat like this in and you want to just use the tempo, this one is already trimmed up to a four bar uh, section. And so if I go to the end of this section, which I can do a tab, Tab will take you to the end of any region, assuming that you have tab to transient turned off right here. If you have tab to transient turned on, it will flip along to each individual drum hit. But with this off, it will go right to the end of the region. And there's a really nice command that I use frequently for tempo matching, which is command I, which adds a beat or bar marker right at the point that your insert locator is at. Since this is a four bar measure, this position should be the beginning of bar five. Currently it's set to bar seven. So I'm just gonna overwrite that with a five and hit okay. And this has the effect of adjusting the tempo. You can see it changed the tempo to 89.91. Um, now if I play back. the vocal. So you see the metronome that I've got the click going is now perfectly lined up. And I've got a little bit of an odd tempo, but at least I've got it set exactly the way this original beat is. So I don't have to do any, any time stretching or anything. And I've got a nice, um, I don't get any of the degradation you get if you invoke the time stretching but we will do that in a second anyway. Now I can mute the click. Now this is still the problem, is that I've got um, the vocal um, that completely doesn't line up. So if, say we wanted to um, speed this vocal up to get it in the same realm as this, we need to use the Time Compression Expansion Trimmer. Up here in the Tools area, normally we have it set up like this. This is the Trimmer tool, which makes this happen. So you can grab and trim the ends of your audio. What we need is the TCE Trimmer which allows you to stretch or um, stretch or compress the audio. So I'm going to compress it all the way back to here. And it does a little processing and now I've... Now another thing you can do with this is say you wanted to match to a very specific tempo, not like this 89.9. I'm gonna put in 91. And now I can snap the drum and this vocal to 91. All right, so that wraps up using time compression expansion trimmer and the command I for adjusting the tempo or the speed of your clips. 
we hope you enjoyed this. And for more information on Lilac Writer, go to lilacwriter.com. Sign up for the, um, for the blog and the newsletters or try out Lilac Writer, which is a great tool for uh, songwriting collaboration. Talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.